The main event, a afternoon of champions for the 25-man battle royal here to decide who will be the GNW World Television Champion. Issues and big, big pros with all these wrestlers here already. Hey, Freak Nation and the X-Men are going local here. They just eliminated each other. These people have unsettled issues. They're going after each other, Dr. Bob. It's we saw what happened at the end of the last show where the X-Men had decimated Freak Nation. They just beeline towards each other. We still have like a bunch of huge competitors in here. Hey, there's the flyboy Mike Landry. We've got competitors from all over Canada, the U.S. We even have competitors from Africa and the United Kingdom. Great North Wrestling always bring you the best. Champions and competitors from across the world here are trying to vie for it to be the inaugural world television champion. It means a lot on a platform and a stage here. GNW seen across the world. We got some big names out here like Jeremy Prophet, two-time Canadian champion and the longest ringing champ in GNW history, as well as Briscoe, who's a former Canadian champ. Max Testosterone, Eve, spoiler, Jeb, Jebediah Tatum. Both those last two on a big winning streak so far. And Eve, as you might have seen in there, trying to prove that she's just as tough as her male counterparts here in GNW. Who do you think is going to win it, Dr. Bob? Well, definitely not Magic My Magic Mary O'Brien, who's just been eliminated. <laughs> He's livid. Preston Perry was eliminated earlier, too, and they are angry, upset that they will not be crowned the world television champion. You know, it's going to take a lot to beat out 24 other men here. A lot is on the line, and speaking of men, the only woman in the ring is Eve, as, as you mentioned. mentioned. As I mentioned before, uh, she's, still in, she's still in there in the corner. She's in it to win it, Dr. Bob, the Black Widow. Hey, we see Mike Landry, the flyboy. Max Testosterone looking to have his way. Just push people around. He's got to be my hands-on favorite here. Okay, hands folks. Favorite, definitely. Let me tell you straight up, you know who's going to win this? Jeremy Profit. Look at him. Well, He's clobbering the competition. Knee to the face, Dr. Bob. He's a two-time Canadian champion. The longest reigning Canadian champion. He sure does have an advantage, but this is any person's game. He just kicked the flyboy. Just kicked the European uppercut. He's got that swagger. That championship swagger. Genesis MVP, Harvey Davidson. We've got a lot of competitors still in this. Any person can take that championship. A double elimination, two feet on the ground. They are, they are out. There goes the spoiler. Well, the action continues. Very hard to call here with Garmami. I mean, fans are going crazy for this. Kicks and kicks, everything's going on, but the fans are loving the Battle Royal. It's a slobber knocker convention here as we see <laughs> Jeremy Prophet with the tight clinch, knee to the gut, throws. Buddy over, Buddy goes flying. I don't know what your name is, Buddy, but I'll tell you his name matters, Jeremy Profit. Notable exceptions, notable uh, absences here. Our PCO, who we saw earlier, uh, have been uh, not allowed to compete in this match due to excessive bleeding. And the uh, heartthrobs also were injured from the last Hawksbury show. Hey, did you smell that? Oh, wait, it's Jeb Dietative. Sorry, continue. Jeb's going to hear you one day. Well, I hope he doesn't uh, lift his arms because I hear his armpits uh, to put down a horse. Oh! Flyboy! The main man! The flyboy wow. is flying! Your boy Maximum Testosterone with all that uh, strength of his, using it wisely. And what, a, what an elite athlete. I follow him on Instagram. Very impressed by his uh, training regiment. The UK wrestler you were talking about. Any question here? Ad Hutchinson still in this one. He's going to have to take a serious shower because he's close to that uh, bumbling uh, country boy there. What's his name? Jebediah Stankum? Tatum? Yeah, Tatum. Ow! Oh, MVP! Thank you very much for that punch. Make sure you disinfect your hands, brother. MVP got the win earlier in the night with that tag team matchup. He's looking to cap off a great victorious night. Coming to GMW World Television Champion. He's still in there with Genesis going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. She's vicious. She's outstanding. She might just do it. She might win it tonight. Tatum, an MVP out. Genesis has got Man, it out. Very proud of himself. Come on, Eve. A lot of competitors been alone. Oh, oh. I am surprised to see that. She just eliminated Genesis. Outstanding. Oh, toe to toe. The two gigantic men in there. Briscoe. 
is still in there. He's been proven to be quite somebody, quite a difficult challenge for his opponents to knock on out. Well, the fans are cheering for Briscoe, but right about now he's getting stomped and destroyed by Jeremy Prophet. Well, Briscoe is two time, two time Canadian champion. Briscoe's a former Canadian champion. If anyone can win this match, clearly you got to bank on him and Prophet both being out on favorites. Prophet's been impressing me this uh, whole year, but. Uh, Briscoe's been on fire. Big elbow by Eve, the Black Widow. You can't underestimate her. She's got that warrior spirit. Another elbow right to the face of Jeremy Prophet. And now we are down to four competitors left. Had, a hang had an inkling that three of these four would be in there. I kind of knew that it would be Briscoe. Prophet and Max, the top contenders. Oh, oh, hard spill to the outside. Down to three, the most powerful wrestlers, strongest wrestler in Canada. And two former GNW Canadian champions who will become one of these three men will become the inaugural world television champion. Jeremy Prophet. It's got to be Jeremy Prophet. Everybody knows that. Crowning a TV champion here because the Hannibal TV, GNW's official YouTube champion uh, channel has been popular and is popular across the world with 45,000 subscribers, 30, 31 million total views at this point, and it is growing literally every day. Fans get on it. Well, of course they're going to attack Max Testosterone. He's a powerhouse. He's a beast, Dr. Bob. He's massive. He's got the power, but they got to team up together. Briscoe and Finishes, Prophet. strikes from Briscoe, he's looking good in here. He's lasted with his cunning, with his smarts, with his visions this to the last three. He could pull it off, but then again, everyone in this ring has an equal chance. Look at that double clothesline from the beast. Fans are, fans are getting excited for this. The big oh. man goes flying. The athleticism, always impressive. We've seen Max come off the top ropes. You know that vertical leap of the strong legs. He can carry himself anywhere in that ring. Wow. Wow. Briscoe taking a chance. Then that over, over the ropes. You want to make sure that you don't get knocked to the outside. The wrestler as smart as he is. He knows what he's doing. Speaking of smart, look at Jeremy Prophet here taking advantage of the situation. Look at this. That's what their strategy was to tip over. Here it is. Max. There it is, folks. Two of the arguably smartest men in GNW. They knew they had to take out the bigger, stronger opponents. Not only is he one of the best professional wrestlers in Canada, I think he's got the best hair in all of professional wrestling. <laughs> the dreadlocks, unlike your boy here. These fans are getting behind Wes Briscoe in a big way right now. Look at the fans. You can hear Briscoe reverberate. The chance of Briscoe, Briscoe reverberating off the, the walls here. Wes Briscoe, obviously part of the famous Briscoe family. Wow. These two are squaring off against each other. I think they're just cheering for Valentine, his little girlfriend over there. Oh! Look at the athleticism. Look at that. Scans the cat back in. All the strength in the upper arms. World class athlete. Hashtag Jeremy Prophet. Oh my goodness! These two have almost both been eliminated. What close calls for both of them. Elbows to the midsection, and he wants to suplex his opponent out and win this championship. Come on, Prophet, reverse this. The fans are really cheering for Wes Briscoe out here. Come on, reverse it. Two no, no, no. champions, and who could be the first world television champion? This might be decided right now on the apron. Almost knocked him out with that back elbow there. Fans, we're all on the edge of our seats here. We're catching this on YouTube. We're catching this online. I mean, uh, I'd be thrilled to hear what you think about this matchup so far. Great North Wrestling, always bringing it to you. I gotta say, Prophet is known. Oh as no! A Dark Cash. Prophet is known as a precise striker. He's got that martial arts experience. Oh, catches him, headbutts. Both. I thought we could have had. Oh, I thought we could have had a Luger Bret Hart situation with both men. Hitting the outside, it still could happen. They're teetering on the edge. Remember fans though, both feet have to touch the floor for an elimination, it can't just be one foot. Whoever is the winner of this matchup 
will be defending their title on March 3rd at the next GNW event. Valentin is really cheering for her man right now. So are the fans out here in Rockland. They want to see Briscoe win, but Jeremy Prophet ain't going to let that happen. Briscoe blocks the punch, follows with his own punch. And another one. Oh! Knocking it for a loop. Takes a shortcut. Good move oh. by Jeremy Prophet. DDT! Oh. You get a snap on that DDT in the middle of the ring. Briscoe might have lost a few inches of height there. Just got planted. He lost hair too. Unlike Jeremy Prophet. He's got the dreadlocks, Dr. Bob. Don't you wish you had locks? I do not. Dreadlocks! Look at this! The fans are on the edge of their seats, like I said before, because this match has such importance to crown the new champion. They're both up to their feet. Look at the wild look in both their eyes. Briscoe's fired up. Oh, no. Oh, he's got his goal. Valentin. Valentin. Despicable. What do you mean, despicable? Let go of her. Prophet, let go of her. Wes Briscoe, you better do the right thing. Get out of the ring, or else Valentin gets hurt. Be a man, Briscoe. I hate to see it end this way. Step out of the ring. He's forcing him to eliminate himself. Brilliant move by the brilliant I wrestler, disagree. Jeremy Paul Harden. I'm telling you, me. worldwide fans, they know about Jeremy Prophet and his brilliant tactics. I've never this seen man, a battle royal end like this. This man is ahead of his time, Dr. Bob. They're going to be talking about him for the next decade or so. What's Briscoe do here? What a disgusting finish this would be. Let's get out of the ring, buddy. He's got to save Valentin. They're trying to be a, so just get out of the ring. He's trying to be a hero here. Fans are cheering for him. Oh, that's cute. Get out of the ring. We got no time for that. There you go. We got, we got first ever. Wait a minute. He's not putting his foot out. No. We've got a good, good vantage over here. We can see that. Oh, wait. It was never finished. Valentin might be... Valentin's out of trouble's way. But his foot never touched the, the ground. This match is not over. And Valentin's saying she wants to go with the winner. Referee RJ was there clearly to see. Oh. Oh. Briscoe had not been eliminated. Briscoe's a freaking cheater. Where else? Oh, super kick! And he's out! What a deceptive tactic. Shame on you, Will Briscoe. Who do you think you are? Wes Briscoe has won the GNW World Television Champion. He is the first champion. What a win, what a match, what a battle royal. Commissioner Maloney in, presenting him with the championship. Look at the excitement on his face. The fans are on their feet. March 3rd, he'll be defending his championship. Well, Nathan Banner, he's one of my toughest opponents. What can I say? He's six foot six, over 300 pounds, and I'm going to be locked in a steel cage, MMA style cage, with Nathan Banner. You know, it's going to be a tough one. But I can't let the people down of Great North Wrestling. I can't let my fans down. I can't let the great people of Canada down. And I definitely can't let the U.S. down. So Nathan, better watch out, because Briscoe, we coming for you. In the aces and eights, we never walk, walk alone. alone. Briscoe, tonight, Brockville, you and I will go one on one. Wes Briscoe, for the last 16 months, you've been ducking me, boy. And once that steel cage is locked, there's no more running. There's no more banner chasing Briscoe. The only thing you're gonna hear is the new television champion, the prodigy, Nathan Banner. Wes Briscoe, the Great North Wrestling Television Champion, just got ambushed by Banner, who's wasting no time, absolutely no time, chopping 
at the first ever world television champion here, Wes Briscoe. Kicking him while he's down, while he's at it. The prodigy, Nathan Banner, the belligerent beast, is wasting no time at all here as he's chopping and clobbering away and enjoying every second. Wait a minute. Now he's hollering at Valentin. Fans are cheering for Wes Briscoe here. Clearly Brockville is strongly behind Wes Briscoe. As I mentioned before, he's the first ever Great North Wrestling World Television champ. And he's won the title last November in a battle royale in Rockland, in Rockland Ontario. And he has defended it several times successfully in the U.S. since. As some of you may know, Wes is the nephew of former NWA World Champion Jack Briscoe and the son of WWE Hall of Famer Gerald Briscoe. And here you have it, Nathan Banner is reminding Briscoe that he needs to hydrate because tonight this fight is going to, he's going to take Briscoe to the edge right now. He's going to take him to, to his limits as he plans to chop Briscoe and defeat him right in the mixed martial arts cage here. Great North Wrestling Cage Wars 2. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. Visit the HannibalTV.com online. We're on Twitter and Facebook as well. Fans are clearly not enjoying Nathan Banner's presence here in Brockville as he's been antagonizing people. And look at this loot act! Briscoe takes advantage of the situation, but Nathan Banner clearly has no respect for his opponent here as Briscoe applies an armbar. 45 degree armbar from the top. Could he have, oh, almost had a bicep crusher there. Takes Briscoe's leg and kicks it. Briscoe's grueling in pain as Banner keeps talking to Valentin. Rumor has it that Valentin and Briscoe just might be a couple. They might be something's going on between those two. I don't know exactly what's going on, but rumor has it that they might be an item. Which could explain why the fans are cheering for him. Oh! Nice takedown by Wes Briscoe as he applies a modified knee bar here. C could he be applying pressure to the heel as well? It's a knee bar heel hook variation by Wes Briscoe here in the middle of the cage. Will Banner tap? He needs to get out of this. Using that size advantage, Nathan Batter, six foot six, over 300 pounds. The belligerent beast, the prodigy, clearly knows how to use that size. Kicks him right on the back, right on Briscoe's spine. Sp Briscoe could be in a lot of pain right now, and he follows up with a kick to the head, on the head, Sonny Ono style, brother. Looks like Briscoe could be knocked out right here. What will it take? And again, he keeps hollering at Valentine out there. And Valentine ain't buying it. She ain't buying it. Will, will Briscoe quit? Will he quit here to Nathan Banner? Does he have what it takes to defend the world television championship? Yes, the Great North Wrestling World Television Champion uh, against an opponent who's nearly twice his size. Dark Cash is also out there as he's cheering on Wes Briscoe along with Valentin. Dark Cash, one of the smartest individuals to have in your corner, quite the advocate. Show of strength here by Wes Briscoe. Jawbreaker switches to a back body drop. Yuro Nagi. Goes for the pin. Banner ain't having it. 
Banners wrestled all over the world. He's been in Japan as challenge, as well as he's challenged for the GNW Canadian Championship in the past. Wes was the first ever non-Canadian to hold the GNW Canadian Championship, which he won to Rene Dupre last year in Pembroke, and then lost to Hannibal in Ottawa. GNW returns to Pembroke on May 25th with ticket prices of $2 for kids and $5 for adults. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Briscoe with a low blow on Nathan Banner. Banner was climbing to the top, and Briscoe clearly breaking the rules here. Falls up with a DDT. You cannot be going. You, a low blow is illegal in both MMA as well as professional wrestling clearly briscoe's breaking the rules but the ref didn't see him as he climbs to the top of this mixed martial arts cage cross body from the top by west briscoe does he have it nathan banner ain't letting that happen he wants to be the next great north wrestling world television champion and clearly the fans here in brockville want west briscoe to retain them one of the most prized possessions in all of canadian wrestling here gouges him in the eye follows up with a super kick to the face he needs to pin him as he does oh briscoe kicks out brockville is relieved but clearly nathan banner ain't having it right now he is about to to lose his mind here. He almost knocked out West Briscoe, went for the pin, and still Briscoe kicked out. It appears as Briscoe really wants to retain that belt and he wants to beat this larger opponent. Make sure you check out the next Great North Wrestling show in Pembroke on May 25th. Visit greatnorthwrestling.ca for more information. Nathan Banner will be facing off against Hall of Famer Tony Atlas. And Lady Yasmin will also defend her Women's Championship of Canada versus Jesse Mack. Hannibal will also challenge PCO for the Canadian title. Oh! Briscoe's got a Ure Gatame standing variation to seated. Vicious arm bar. Will he tap? It looks like Briscoe might be also applying a wrist lock variation to this Ude Gatame. That Nathan Banner's arm is in a lot of pain. Goes for a small package. I thought he was rolling for the knee there. Possibly going for leg locks. He's got a cravat here, a clinch as some would call it. Again with the Ude Gatame. It looks like this time he's applying a wrist lock variation to the Ude Gatame, which could be vicious, which could do it in for Nathan Banner. Banner slaps the referee. He just slaps the referee. What is, what is Nathan Banner doing right now? Wait a minute, he's climb over the cage. Why? What is he thinking? Nathan Banner just slapped the referee, and it appears like he's leaving the cage here. He's leaving the match. How cowardly of him. He's probably jumping back in his car and driving back to Jersey. The fans here in Brockville have rebranded Nathan Banner a chicken, a New Jersey chicken. The referee has disqualified Nathan Banner, granting the victory to the current Great North Wrestling Television Champion, Wes Briscoe, as we see Valentin and Dark Cash of the Aces and Eights, of course.
Titles on the line tonight as the current champion Wes Briscoe faces off against Nathan Banner. The fans here in Hawkesbury are very excited for this match as these two have been feuding for the last couple of months. We see ringside that uh, Jeremy Prophet is right there, and uh, and ironically, Jeremy Prophet has had an allegiance with Banner in the past. And uh, Prophet was the last person eliminated from the TV title Battle Royale last year in Rockland, which Briscoe won. So this uh, element of Jeremy Prophet in the mix is making this a rather confusing situation as uh, Banner has had a previous alliance with Prophet. And we'll see how this uh, plays out, I suppose, as Banner wastes no time to, you know, push Briscoe's head. I'll tell you, Nathan Banner has consistently shown nothing but a cunning spirit, a ruthless and dangerous spirit, as he's done numerous times, utilizing every opportunity to humiliate and annihilate his opponent. As we're seeing Briscoe here going from a double wrist lock, switching over right into the uh, isolating into a wrist lock. A very painful maneuver on the big man. Briscoe, very strong and technically capable as he is also quick. But I'll tell you, Nathan Banner, the belligerent beast, the prodigy, whatever you want to call him, is one hell of an athlete. Six foot six, 350 pounds, tremendous amount of power and bruteness and psychologically has the advantage on just about any of his opponents as I'm sure we're gonna see here tonight, going for a side headlock, squeezing the life right out of his opponent. Shoulder checks him, and you know, the reality is this, as I mentioned before, there is a huge size advantage here, folks, and you best believe size plays a role. The laws of physics dictates that size does matter. Go ask your local astrophysicist, go ask your ex-girlfriend, Go ask whomever you need to ask. Size does matter. And uh, Nathan Banner, well aware of this, will exploit this uh, advantageous characteristic that he has in this situation here as he wants to be the next World TV Champion. That's the GNW World TV Champion. My name is Garmami, and we're watching this on the Hannibal TV. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment. We want to hear from you. We've got fans all over the world, a lot of fans all over the United States, leaving plenty of comments, wanting to see GNW in the United States. We know that fans up in upstate New York want to see GNW. We know that fans across Canada are loving the shows. They were coming out all across Ontario. Fans have been coming out from all over Canada and the U.S. to our various shows, and this show here in Hawkesbury, Ontario for this particular match. As uh, Nathan Banner taking advantage of the situation, clearly wanting to delay the momentum that Wes Briscoe has, uh, has sparked here. Bris Briscoe clearly is frustrated and annoyed by this. Briscoe, of course, is Jerry Briscoe's son and Jack Briscoe's nephew, second generation wrestler. A man who's proven himself here at Great North Wrestling and has quite the following all across Canada. You should see the amount of fans that come out just to witness Wes Briscoe wrestle. Goes in and kicks the big man in the gut. Throws him head first in the corner. 
Left, right, left, right to the gut. Falls up with a back elbow. Hawksbury's loving it. They want to see Briscoe get the revenge. He wants massive lariat in the corner. Nearly knocks the big man out. That momentum is very important, but wait a minute. Is he actually trying to suplex the 355, 350 pound belligerent piece? I don't think that's going to happen. Massive chop across the chest. Drags a little man in the corner and another chop. Nathan Banner arrogantly chewing his gum, not giving a damn. Soccer kicking Briscoe in the back as Valentin looks worried. His little girlfriend out there looking really distressed as Nathan Banner has, look at him, he's stepping right on his throat. As I mentioned before, Banner's cunning campaign of ruthlessness is well recorded. We've seen what he's done to Flash Funk. He took the cold out of that Scorpio. He stomped on that Scorpio, sent it into a retired home with the Funkettes, and then he took that other alleged legend, what's his name there, Tony Atlas, and brutalized them at the last show. We've seen it's been well documented on the Hannibal TV. Nathan Banner is nothing but a cerebral tactician, a man who knows how to take his opponent down using all of his gifts and his abilities. Look at this. Splashing and squashing Briscoe. Right in the middle of the ring, all that weight. Briscoe's ribs could be aching right now. He must be in a lot of pain, and we've seen what the belligerent beast Nathan Banner has done to Dark Cash, who's Briscoe's manager. Dark Cash, the brilliant manager that he is, has been taken out by Banner at the last show in Pembroke. He brutalized Dark Cash. Last time I heard Dark Cash is sitting somewhere hiding in the basement watching a bunch of soccer games, recovering from his injuries. Nathan Banner wasting no time to always step on the competition, always humiliate and maim and mock. That's how he rolls. Valentin's not having any of this. She's very stressed out. You can see it in the corner there. She, she looks desperate. She just looks desperate right now as her man's getting clobbered. Her man's getting victimized. Her man's getting run over by the belligerent beast, Nathan Banner. And you know, Jeremy Prophet is out there watching this closely as we know Jeremy Prophet is a modern day intellectual, an elite athlete, and a renowned competitor as Wiss Briscoe goes for a series of clotheslines and elbows. Tremendous comeback by by Wes Briscoe, the GNW World Television Champion. Impressive demonstration of power here. Goes for the pin. Eh, eh, ain't gonna happen, Briscoe. Ain't gonna happen. Nathan Banner is coming out here. He's coming out here to leave with your belt. You best to recognize, as I was mentioning, Jeremy Prophet, the modern day intellectual, the elite athlete and renowned competitor is out here watching this. And you know he wants the belt, the GNW World TV belt, just as much. Big DDT by Big DDT by Banner. He wants that belt just as much as Banner as he's sitting there, sit, you know, situationally examining this match, taking notes, and uh, seeing what he needs to do to to beat whomever I suppose wins this match. Whereas Valentin. Briscoe's little girlfriend looks distraught. You know, she, she's clearly here for the emotional support. Catches the kick. Massive tie flying knee. Massive move. Belly to back suplex. What a combination of moves by Wes Briscoe from the flying knee to the belly to back to the lateral press. Can't get the win as Banner, the big smart man that he is stretches out his legs and ensures to hit the rope so the referee breaks the count what will it take for west briscoe to win this we can see that his ribs are clearly injured briscoe is in a lot of trouble here and valentine is distraught she doesn't know what to do to support west briscoe as the belligerent beast super kicks the little man, he could be out as far as I'm concerned. But Nathan Banner taking his sweet time to stalk his prey. 
Look at this, right in the corner. He's choking him right in front. Choking Briscoe right in front of Valentin. Valentin looking rather seriously concerned for her man as he's just being brutalized here by the six foot six hundred and fifty pound belligerent beast. As far as I'm concerned, West Briscoe's neck right now could be in, in a serious amount of pain. We know that his ribs are in a lot of pain right now. Wait a minute. Valentin's grabbing the chair. What is she thinking? We know she's getting desperate here out here. The Prophet grabs the chair away, doing the right thing. But hey, Nathan Banner taking advantage of the situation. As he sees fit, he's going to take that chair and regulate the situation. Prophet is in the ring. So is Valentin. They're trying to stop him from hitting Prescott with the chair. But Banner ain't having it. He wants that chair. Someone better take a seat. Oh, wait a minute. There goes Valentin flying across the ring. Super kick. Super kick to the dreaded man. Briscoe with the roll, roll up. Not going to happen. We just saw. Oh, wait a minute. Banner's grabbing Valentin by the hair. This is, he's gone too far. He's just gone too far. He's taken this to the next level of extreme psychological warfare. Oh, wait a minute. She kicked him. She kicked him downstairs. Oh, he follows up with a super kick. Valentin just kicked her man. Valentin just kicked him in the sack. My God, she's betrayed her man. What a traitor. A true quintessential Benedict Arnold. Valentin has betrayed. West Briscoe looks like she wants to go to Costa Rica and ride a pony with her new man, the world TV champion, the GNW world TV champion, Nathan Banner. Look at this, adding more in insult to injury, throwing throwing his vest, Briscoe's vest. Valentin just threw his vest on his face. She's the Benedict Arnold of GNW. I'd like to take this time and thank absolutely nobody. You see, over the last two years, I've been fighting for this very day. I've been training. I've been working my ass in the gym to get my leg where it needed to be. And Wes Briscoe, what sweet, sweet revenge in the same arena where you took me out. I walk out with the television championship and my sweet, sweet, sweet little Valentine. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Nathan Banner versus the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith Jr. here. Animal TV, Henry. Title, Nathan Banner wasting absolutely no time. Imposing his size, imposing his strength here, and choking Davy Boy Smith Jr. here. Nathan Banner, absolutely no respect for his opponents. Showing that that size and that belligerent movement is always in his advantage here. Big back body drop by Davy Boy Smith Jr. here. It looks like Nathan Banner is going to be having a very tough night this evening here against the British Bulldog. And again, British Bulldog, second generation wrestler. The guy alone gives him the advantage in this fight. He learned from his great father. Some fan was just uh, helping David Banner there, or Nathan Banner, excuse me, massaging his back here. It looks like Nathan Banner's lower back might be slightly uncomfortable, dare I say, maybe very uncomfortable there as he comes back in the ring. Asking the referee to push back uh, the British Bulldog here. Don't do it, don't do it. What a champion, it's showing a some respect here. It's a room. Shaking his hand. Let's see if the fans in Rockland are gonna... Nope, 
They're not buying that. Kick to the gut by David Jr. Big headbutt. He's got him on the ropes here. Good elbows, good elbows. Third elbow. Throws him to the ropes. Big freaking boot by British Bulldog here. You're utilizing that quickness and that flexibility. Tosses him right back to Jersey. The British Bulldog here showing that aggression. My God, he's bringing, bringing the action right to the freaking table. He wants the belt. You heard the man. It'll take more than that to be my God, he almost knocked his teeth right out. Thank God he's in Canada. His health care is covered, unlike Britain and the United States. Nathan Banner returning the favor here. Throwing his face right into the friggin' wrestling mat. Chasing him around the ring here. Parading the British Bulldog around and humiliating him. What do you think about that, Alistair? Oh, big friggin' headbutt right to the to the six pack of body. Oh, Nathan that martial arts training, that precision, that timing. Sweet chin music. We've yet to see his uh, great she smarts. She just smarts there, went back in, came back out. Well, as you mentioned, you know, that experience is second generation. Is a second generation professional wrestler. Has great in-ring situational awareness. <clears throat> but so does Banner. Oh, can he get him up? I don't think he can pick up a 350-pound Banner. Big guy, man. Banner's not going to allow that. He going to Brexit him out of here. Atomic drop. Hits the ropes. Big boom. Banner may be, you know, an athlete of that size, but he's got tremendous athleticism and agility. Yeah, moves like a cat. Hence why he's the Hannibal TV heavyweight champion. One hell of an athlete. Extremely versatile. He'll never quit. He'll never quit. Like the heart of the champion. These Great North Wrestling fans are clearly on the side of the, the British Bulldog. Nathan Batter, the prodigy, is just throwing. He's, he just tossed the British Bulldog like Brexit. Tossed him right out of the freaking, right out of the freaking European Union here. Right in the bread basket. Don't mean to get too political here. Kick right to the chest by the British Bulldog. Let's see if we're gonna see some of his submission oh. skills. Again, trying oh. to pick him up. The man must be delusional. You're not gonna be able to pick up a 360 pound banner. He's not, he's not gonna allow that, he's gonna ban it. No pun intended, folks. The power and the precision by Banner. Oh, he's, oh, he's no. looking to the fans. Showcasing his superior superiority. Is he gonna moonsault from the top? I don't think so. Oh. My goodness! You see that? He freaking flipped them right over. British Bulldog taking, him up there. taking advantage of the situation here as the fans are cheering on. Yet again, going for the pickup. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, Clearly, I was wrong. This man's got tremendous power. Just picked up 360 pounder. Just like his father. Picked him up like he was nothing. We know he's a world-class submission wrestling, submission wrestler. Let's see if he's going to showcase some of those skills here tonight. Big kick yet again. That's it. Chains of Hulk Hogan. Are we 
going to see the big leg drop. Oh, oh my goodness. Goes for the pin. Are we going to have a new champion here? Nope. Banner not allowing that. He clearly wants the Hannibal TV Heavyweight title. The most prized possession in Canadian wrestling. Professional wrestling, that is. Sure is. No. Banner not allowing that. He will not allow it. Oh, wait a minute. Reverses it. Oh. Super kick right to the face of the Bulldog. I've never seen such a big man super kick someone. Bulldog is shooken up here as Banner goes for the pin. Nearly gets it. Banner's going to climb up yet again. Athletic, agile, and confident in his abilities. Oh, but guess what? So is the British Bulldog here. Oh, oh my goodness! Burning power slam from the top! Hey, bring them! Hey, bring them! We got a new champion! We got a new champion! The British Bulldog, David Roy Smith Jr. just pinned it. Banner! The newest and updated version of the British Bulldogs has arrived in Great North Wrestling. And tonight, I won the Hannibal TV Heavyweight Championship. Now I know that I won the battle tonight, but the war has just begun. I have a target on my back. There's gonna be a lot of people headhunting for me, let's say. And I'm gonna be ready for you because Davy Boy Smith Jr. has woken up Davy Boy Smith Jr. is the best conditioned and best technical wrestler going today. And Davy Boy Smith Jr. is not just the best there is, the best there was, and the best that there ever will be. Davy Boy Smith Jr. is better than the best. now what is this from Calgary Alberta Canada he is the British Bulldog Davey Boy Smith Jr. all right ladies and gentlemen we're back here on SWE Fury awaiting Davey Boy Smith Jr. in the ring the blood hunter and the British Bulldog Davey Boy Smith Jr. and uh, well someone who would know things British Nigel Rabbit here with us it's completely uncomfortable that that thing in the ring with Davy Boy Smith Jr. That man's a legend. Well, he's taking apart the legend right now, this blood hunter. Do not count a bulldog oh. out. Good grief. Blood hunter making those primal sounds in the ring as he chops away at Davy Boy Smith Jr. Hits him with that elbow, going for a pin already. Two big men in the ring here. Bulldog, at least for a few of the fans, a favorite in this one. 
One hunter making no friends out here though, Kevin Sullivan. Bob, this is the first time I've ever seen the blood hunter look small. Davy Boy is as big as him, or if not bigger. This should be a really physical match. Wait a minute, Rabbit, are you out here are you out here scouting again? I would love to say yes, I'm out here scouting, but really, I'm here what? because that monster blood hunter attacked Michael Schaefer in unconscionable ways. And well, much as I hate to admit it, I owe Davy Boy Smith Jr. for coming to our aid. That is absolutely correct. Uh, Michael Schaefer uh, was. Uh, what? Oh, he's got the sleeper on him. Look at this. Haven't seen that in a while. Schaefer. Hey, he what looks he like he's going down. It looks like he bump. Is it possible? That could somebody actually put the blood hunter to sleep? I mean, it, it wasn't until Michael Schaefer that we saw somebody knock the man down. Yeah, it, it looks Wait like he's going down. Oh, he's going Wait down. Minute. Hold on. Davy Boy is going to pull That's him up. Two. Wait a minute. There's no way. The sleeper wants. Oh, the oh. blood hunter is back. Oh, no. Oh. He turns it around. No, no, no. Oh. oh. Good grief. Right in front of the referee. Using that top rope for something it wasn't meant for is the blood hunter there. Davy Boy Smith did come to the aid last week of Michael Schaefer. Uh, any update on the condition of Schaefer, though, Nigel? Uh, the, the Paragon Michael Schaefer is understandably upset. I can imagine so, as uh, as are the fans on the front row there who are getting a lot more than they bargained for as this is right out in front of them now. Bloodhunter breaking the count, coming back in the ring. These fans trying to rally behind the Bulldog. Uh, oh, no. No. No, 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 no. That timekeeper's table, I'm not sure that's one that you want to go. Oh, no, no, putting somebody oh, through. Good grief. That table is solid. What is, no, terrific. What is this? Blood no, Hunter, no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, wow. He landed square with his knees right on top of Davy Boy. Oh. The table. Made of that hard PVC material. It looks like there's metal as well. Yes, and just bounced. God, it's just like your mother's knees. <laughs> your mother's knees, huh? Ooh! Bloodhunter with a headbutt there. You know, these guys are going to be so sore tomorrow. So sore. They manhandle each other at every turn. Look at that. Like Grapevine, just trying to crush oh. the life out of him. There's that that yelp or whatever it is that he does again by the Blood Hunter. I just I would just not refer to it because if he doesn't like the way he hears you say it, next it'll be Bob Maudlin in the ring. If Bob Maudlin was here, maybe he would be worried about that. Trust me, you'll be Maudlin by the time he's done with you. Good point. Yes, learn your language. Davy Boy trying to fire up a couple of elbows there for the Blood Hunter right on there that hard go. head. I got to give Davy Boy all the credit in the world. You know, in SWE, you can't throw a punch to the head, but an elbow is certainly as tough as a fist. Davy Boy was trying to work his way to the ropes. I am often less speechless with these matches with the Blood Hunter, and this one is no different. Oh, oh, oh! Whoa. Look at that! Reversal! by Davy Boy Smith and I mean we don't often see the blood hunter off his feet with let alone impacted upon look at that Davy Boy with the European uppercuts rocking the head oh Whoa. and the big boot there you go a little he big may boot. not be actually British but by God we claim him you <laughs> I, will, I, I think we'll let him know that you've claimed him. That's that's going to be good news. I'm sure he'll be happy to hear I that. I mean, Britain claims him. Oh, a leg drop. so close. Not doing the trick again. Davy Boy stalking the blood hunter. When have you ever heard that sentence? Yeah, I haven't heard anything about anybody oh, stalking oh, the Bloodhunter. Look at this. 
German suplex hands hanging on and again. Oh, another one. Is he going to go for a third? He looks like he's going for it. <laughs> That's right. The Crack butter. that skull open. Let's see what leaks out. Oh, wow. Three of them. A trio of those German suplexes. Will it be one, two, two. and oh, oh, so close. So close. That, that, that thing in the ring with Davy Boy Smith has wreaked havoc, havoc here in SWE Fury. He has, and I, I can't say I've ever seen him down quite that long. This blood hunter, Irish whip Ooh. off the rope. He's ready for him though. Going for a neck oh. breaker. But notice, Blood Hunter isn't as crisp, isn't quite as Johnny on the spot. Wait, wait, wait. And now, what is he doing? What is he doing? No, no. He's climbing up the rope. This Blood Hunter, the guy that was oh. so much. Oh, destruction! Look at that. Of. Head but by. Davey Boy Smith Jr. rocks the Blood Hunter off the top turnbuckle. And landing in a very precarious way. Davey Boy now gets him. Oh. 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 It's a pin now. Wait a minute. What? Whoa. Who was that? Somebody Wait. just put his, his boot Wait. on the bottom rope. Wait. When did you... Who is Wait. that? Wait, 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 wait. Get the camera down so we can see who that is. What is? Who is, is that? I, I, I saw this. I saw this woman standing. Oh! Wait a minute! Right in the, the wedding tackle. One, two, three, and Davy Boy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You win the match. The Blood Hunter. Sits there, the oh. <laughs> Blood Hunter showing why he beat two time WWE tag team champion Davy Boy Smith Jr. back in February for the great North Wrestling heavyweight title. That match also took place in Texas. Right now we have Renee Dupree coming at ringside with a cheer! Brutally attacking Blood Hunter! Later tonight, these two will face for the title. Even with multiple refs in the ring, they cannot stop Dupree from getting his hands on Blood Hunter. Who do you think you are attacking the Blood Hunter before your match with him? We're gonna get you! We're coming for you! I swear it! Of both the Great North Wrestling and the Texas Heavyweight Championship on the line tonight, folks. Please make some noise, put your hands together, make a lot of a noise from Moncton, New Brunswick. He is a former WWE Tag Team Champion, Rene Dupree. This is a false count anywhere match, no disqualification. So everyone, 
right from the very start of this match. You can just tell that that bloodhunter is out for blood. Look at him simply just choking the free ring side. Yeah, we have to remind people, of course. Uh, this is the main, ev main event. Uh, Rene Dupree was supposed to say a few words, wasn't even given the opportunity to. Uh, both the Great North Wrestling and Texas Heavyweight title is on the line. No DQ, falls count anywhere. Rene Dupree against the reigning GNW and Texas Heavyweight Champion, the Blood Hunter, being accompanied by Braze, his manager. Already you can tell they're taking advantage of the no disqualifications terms and stipulations of this match. I don't think Bloodhunter gave him a chance to even have a few words with us because uh, Renee attacked Bloodhunter earlier in the night and he's certainly not happy about it. As you can see, finally, they have now made it into the ring. Bloodhunter is now 14-0-2 with no losses. If anyone is going to give Bloodhunter a run for his money, it is going to be Renee Dupree. We've got to remind you, too, both titles are on the line. And this is going to be an historic match because it is the first time, actually, that the Texas title has never been defended in Canada in all of its prestigious history. Okay, Renee. Yeah, Renee needs to concentrate on Blood Hunter, not Blaze. Right now, that means nothing. When you're in the ring with Blood Hunter. Blood Hunter You know, I thought Renee was huge. Blood Hunter is enormous. We have two giants in the ring. Yeah. No doubt. And we welcome the viewers tuning in on the Hannibal TV. Com, of course, Hannibal TV on YouTube. And we welcome fans of pro wrestling Noah from Japan. Remember I told you to look at uh, Blood Hunter's boots? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I believe there's blood. Oh. And we've already starting to see some blood from Rene Dupree. Yes, one of those blows to the forehead. Dupree is not looking so hot right now. Right now, Bloodhunter's manager, Blaze, not really having any effect on this match at all. She doesn't really need to interfere. She hasn't had to at all. At this point, it seems like Bloodhunter is in full control. Bloodhunter, not, not much of a talker. Have you noticed that? I have noticed. Yes. He shrieks and growls and barks. Yeah, he grunts a lot. He points. He doesn't really talk. Be to your competition in the ring. You don't know where his mindset got at any point in time. No. We have a team for everybody which was sitting under the ring. Again, this is a no disqualification. Oh, a no disqualification match. And ironically, the door has a poster of the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, neither of these two really need a ring. Mm -hmm. This, of course, is a no DQ, falls, count, anywhere match. <laughs> Rene Dupree is going back to Moncton, New Brunswick, hoping for a victory. At least he's going to go back with some scars. He has been opened up. Now, what's the involvement? Okay. Uh, I do not like that. How is, how is going to recover after? That is his manager. 
I'm sorry, I do not like that. Okay. That is his manager. I'm sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.